Hi, it's Sunday, May 18th. It's a week after Mother's Day. And as you can see, I've had a little trauma to my nose. That happened on Mother's Day, and um, you can go back and watch that episode. Uh, Robbie, all he did was run away. He did not do this to me. He just turned and ran, and when I ran after him, I tripped and fell, and I thought that I only scratched my nose on the sidewalk. Well, here it is a week later, and I don't know if you can see, I had this indentation in here from my glasses, and it keeps, it was bothering me, and I could feel this in here, and I realized my nose is swelled up, and it's red, and um, I'm gonna have to go to the, my doctor tomorrow, my ENT. I've already had two sinus surgeries on my nose, so I'm hoping to God that it's not broken. Um, I don't think it is, but I don't know. I'm going to go have it checked out. Now, speaking of broken things, my toilet seat is broken. <laughs> and that is because Robbie is very rough on things. And when he sits down, he plops down too hard. And uh, from that constant plopping down on my toilet, the seat is, you know, the screws are worn off and the, the whole thing is just completely falling off. And uh, so for today's visit, um, we're gonna have to go to Home Depot and go buy a new toilet seat. That is if I can get in touch with Robbie because my phone isn't working. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, and so my focus of the episode today is broken things and things that Robbie has broken over the years. And I really don't like this I feel like I'm complaining and I really don't want these vlogs to be a gripe session at all. They were really were meant to be positive. But uh, what happens is I don't like to focus on negative things. I don't like to talk about negative things. I, I think I'm basically a positive person. I don't know. I, I try to brush over things and not ever focus on negative and just always keep moving forward and try to keep positive. But I found that because I do that, nobody has any idea what my life is really like. And over the years, because Robbie's really rough on things, he slams doors and he slammed all of my doors to the point where they all were falling off the hinges. He used to slam all the doors in my kitchen, uh, all the drawers and all my kitchen cabinets fell off. Um, he's, you know, broken VCRs, thrown CDs, you know, broken videotapes. Um, He's broken all kinds of stuff. He's banged holes in the walls. He's broken windows. He's done all these things. And most of the time, I, you know, it's not even necessarily, I don't think, well, maybe sometimes when he's angry, he tries to break things. But a lot of times, I don't think he realizes how rough he really is. I don't think he, he's trying to break the door. He just is obsessive, compulsive about it and wants it shut. And if it doesn't shut right away, he'll keep slamming it several times. Um, I think part of it is his Charcot Marie Tooth Syndrome. He doesn't really feel things, so he, he slams things with his hands and stomps things with his foot. It's also, you know, it's also because he's aggravated also. You've seen that in some of the other episodes. And the only reason that I bring this up is because the only help that I was able to get from the state over the years is uh, for respite care. They always offered me babysitting services and respite care, and I could have money for tutors but that was it. And I used to tell them, well, I have relatives that babysit. I don't need that. Uh, if you're gonna give me money, I need money to replace all the broken things in my house. Threw, threw a laptop off the table, threw a video camera, broke it. You know, a lot of electronics and things in my house. I had to replace my whole kitchen. You know, that's what I need. I, I need help with that. I mean, there's only so much that money can go to after a while. Um, and you try to explain that to people, but unless they know what's going on, you're never going to get some help. So, for instance, a metaphor. Uh, my computer. I hate computers. They're a pain in the neck. Um, and that's because, you know, I don't like having to depend on, on it. And then I ended up getting a virus. And I'm stubborn, you know, and you, I'm... I'm the type of person, I'm very strong, and you'll push, 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 push until I can't take it anymore, and then I'll give in, and then I'll ask for help. Um, so my computer had a virus, and I just kept dealing with it and deal with it, dealing with it being slow, 
um, dealing with it being aggravating to me. But I'm, it's, you know, my attitude is, eh, it is what it is, deal with it. Until it got to the point where I couldn't get on anything. I couldn't get my emails. I couldn't get on YouTube. I couldn't get on my Facebook page. Everything, I would try to go to the page and it would say, this page cannot be displayed. When it got to that point, that's when I called my, uh, my geek squad, my IT guy, you know, who's a friend of mine, who's a computer guy who had to come and fix it. Now my phone's busted. Um, I just lost, I, I synced it up and it didn't sync and it erased everything off my phone. All my videos are gone. All my contacts are gone. You know, and it's to the point where, when it gets to the point where it's completely broken, that's when I will give in and I will call and I will ask for help because I'm a very strong, independent type of person. And I really hate asking anybody for help. And I have a feeling that there are many other parents out there, <clears throat> moms especially, that are just like me. Because we're the ones that feel that we need to be strong for our families. We need to be strong for the husband. We need to be strong for our children. We don't want them to see us cry. We don't want them to, uh, we don't want them to worry about us. So we always have to be the strong one, the strong one, the strong one. So I guess my point of today's vlog is <clears throat> to all of you parents out there, maybe we need to stop trying to be martyrs. And maybe sometimes we need to ask for help. So uh, tomorrow I'm gonna go see, of course, now see, I've let this go over a week to where it's to the point that, you know, I can't wear my glasses today and everything is blurry um, that I'm gonna give in and go to the doctor and ask for help and tomorrow I will call my IT guy to come and fix my phone because today I can't call Robbie's house uh, to tell them that I'd like to come for a visit because I lost my contacts in my phone and so of course this is the only place where I had all my contacts were in my iPhone I didn't write it down like a dummy uh, because I was depending on my phone to have all my contacts and now I can't call his house so the best I can do is just spontaneously go over knock on the door and see if they're home if they're there great they're not going to be happy about a spontaneous visit um, and if not then I don't get to see Robbie today and I'll have to go shopping for that new toilet seat all by myself <sighs> anyway it's still a great day anyway it's gorgeous out here. It's beautiful. It's about 75 degrees and sunny with no humidity, which is very rare here in New Jersey. So I'm going to keep looking on the bright side and enjoy my day. You can have my heart Though it is a <laughs> What? Don't touch my camera. Hi. Hi. Hi, dude. Hi. You need the thumbs? Oh, squishy thumbs. You like that? Yeah. Hi, dude. Hi.
So I picked Robbie up, I knocked on the door and they were there and they were planning to go to the Y to go swimming today. So I said, okay, good, do you have his bathing suit? Went into his room to look because he needs a swim diaper to swim in the Y and I found the swim diaper but no bathing suit. It was nowhere to be found and uh, he also has no nylon shorts left anymore. And that's because he sleeps in those shorts and um, he tends to rip his clothes a lot because of the way he sits. So I think we're down to not having any left. So it looks like we're going to have to go shopping for that today. Uh, speaking about broken things, I guess all of his clothes are broken and ripped too. So. Um, Robbie's costing me some money again today, Rob. <laughs> but he's in a good mood. He was very happy to see Mommy today, so that's a good thing. Oh. Do you want a treat? Yes. Yeah. Help. He's trying to help. Good job. shopping cart today. Woohoo! Oh, woohoo! Good thing uh, mommy parked far enough from the other car. Robbie's banged into other cars before. <laughs> This is what he does when he doesn't want to be in the store anymore. He will sit. But he's pretty happy. He's not being grouchy. Here. May I have the following? So basically returns every for your return. Okay, can you get up? Ew, ew, ew. Don't eat it off the floor. Ew, ew, ew. Don't eat it off the floor. That's disgusting. Come on, get up. Can you stand up? I'll be up. Come on, get up. Thank you. Here, stand with the car. Okay. Okay. Okay, now hold on. Let me just get a toilet and then we're gonna go, okay? You know, when we came out of Home Depot, I saw the flower section over there and I was reminded why I never buy my flowers here. Because years ago, when Robbie was smaller, he disappeared in the Home Depot flower section. I was there with my girls and Robbie was little and of course he wandered off and gave mommy a heart attack because uh, Home Depots are always on the highway. and. Uh, yeah, we found him, I think, wandering around the parking lot somewhere. I don't even remember. You know, he could have been gone for five minutes, seemed like an eternity. Uh, <laughs> but ever since then, it's just sort of, I just get this bad feeling every time I see the flower department. Now I remember why. But uh, 
he's a little slower now he's a little bigger he's a little easier to see a little easier to spot but I still don't trust him I don't trust you Rob you still like to run away and I think the toilet seat maybe is a perfect metaphor today for for all of the crap that I've dealt with but yet uh, the no slam reminds me to you know take it easy take it slow don't worry about it don't complain it's all good right Rob all right let's go home buddy yeah parking lot party we're sitting in a parking lot at the Home Depot having our own party Rob let me see where does that go put it away can you put that away for me please <laughs> Okay, and that's how mommy's drawers get broken, right? Okay, good job. Oh my goodness. Okay, how about we put your new shorts away? Come here. 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 How about this? Can you put that away? Where does that go? Can you put that in here, please? Mm, no, here, let's do this one. No, no, this one. No, this one. Good. You kicked, you kicked it. Give me, here, give me five. All right, excellent. See ya. <laughs> you breaking your bed? Have a seat. Sit down. Let me see. Oh, that bed is dipping in the middle. Yep. Looks like we're breaking the new bed. I keep trying to end this episode, but I took Robbie into the house and we put stuff away and I let him demonstrate for you how he slams the doors and drawers to show how he breaks things and when I brought him back out into the living room I saw the couch is broken and I know he did that because of the way he plops down when he sits Yeah, the whole wooden support inside the couch was completely broken. Um, and remember the recliner that I bought him for his birthday around Christmas time? Yeah, that lasted about a month. And he broke that. And he busted the seat just like that. The whole recliner, you know, he, he plops down and slams it back. And all the all the guts were broken on the inside so I didn't even make my first payment on that chair yet and it was already broken so you know busted and broke you know that's that's the theme of today but you know what are you gonna do it's, you know it is what it is this one.